Word Level 1, Chapter 8, Mail Merge. Mail Merge consists of three parts, the first being the main document, second being the data source, another name for that is recipient list, third being the merge document. It starts with the mail main document, and this document is created one time. And then you have the data source with all the recipient list. And this consists of a record for each person receiving their document. Here we have four individuals who will be receiving the document. The third part of mail merge is dealing with the merge document. This is a personalized document for each recipient. Let's talk about the main document first. The main document can be a letter, an envelope, it could be labels, it could be directories, or it can be certificates. Your data source consists of records. Each record is made of fields. These fields have names. Example of the field names are like title, last name, first name, address, city, state, zip, phone. And the thing when you create a data source from scratch, you must populate the field with data. Also, your data source can be created where data is entered, that's when you create your own data, or it could be an existing file, which can be an Excel worksheet, an access table, or a Word document of data. Now, the mail merge process works in this way. In order for mail merge to work, the main document must communicate with the data source. This is done by inserting merge fields into the main document. Common merge fields are address block, greeting line, last name, first name, address, and so on. The final process of mail merge is to finish and merge. And this allows you to edit individual documents, select all, and once you do select all, this process will create documents for records found in data source, in your data source, which can be uh, printed. 